All right, so we're on to the next project here. Um, so what you're looking at is the water system that I have set up in the greenhouse. And I am currently dragging this hose out the greenhouse door to the outside to spot water or to use the water to fill uh, or to make uh, you know sugar uh, water for or sugar syrup for the bees and I want to be able to have easier access to the water so what I've installed here is a splitter coming off of the liquid feed here and again you can do straight water or liquid feed uh, you get to pick so if I'm doing watering on the inside and I want to feed, I could do that. If I just want water, I could do that. And same for the outside, because I have all those raised beds in the back. But if I want to do bee feed, I certainly don't want any liquid feed in that. So I'd run it for a while, clean out the line, and then I could go ahead and do bee feed. So um, the original plan was to kind of run a faucet to the outside, but man, we are just in a greenhouse and I want to be able to like winterize this pretty easily. So, what the plan is is to install this piece of pvc in the side of the greenhouse towards the back over there where on the outside i feed bees and i'll screw this into the wall and then i can just run the hose straight through that in spring summer and uh, close this off with this little you know clean out screw here when it comes time to winterize so i can just bring the hose back through so pretty easy I, i'm not trying to do anything fancy here but just you know again easier access to water so and then i'll, I'll basically have a hose reel a hose rack really on the outside for a similar hose to what you see here so again that'll eliminate having to drag hoses all over the place and um because of where the the bee feed station is I'm going to have to go, uh, you know, cut a hole in the side of the greenhouse and uh, the bees are out and active today. It's very windy, but um, they probably harass me. So I'm going to wear my bee suit to do it. And then when we come to do the inside work, I can, I can take it off and relax. It's pretty darn hot in this greenhouse. So I've opened up some of the windows and the door to kind of keep it aired out. But uh, that's what we're going to try to do here. So it looks like if I want to bring this hose out by... The, where the uh, bee feeds at, it'll probably be right about there, which is probably the most inconvenient possible space because this is also where I have my pit that I put very tall plants in, such as my bananas when they get taller. So, but no big deal. We'll, we'll run the hose from that splitter along the wall here and then out through this and voila. So let's see how this works out. This is James with Make It Happen Greenhouse, and I guess we're gonna try to make something happen here. We'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm being a little harsh on me. At least I have shelves and stuff that I'm using. I've seen gardens in much worse uh, condition than this. Uh, but uh, you know, this is no one, this is kind of out of sight. So, but I do want to get it neaten, and this wind has just come through here and wreaked havoc. So let's get it straightened up so we run that. Uh, Drill that hole in the side of the greenhouse right here. So I think the best bet here is to go a little lower. So this will avoid us hitting two layers of cement board and it'll be below any of the interior micro sprinklers that I have going. If I only had a, a tool that I could use to pry stuff with. Oh, like a hive tool? Go get one.
now we're running into the wood a little bit. I think, I think that's it. And we can cock that in. I never said I was good at caulking. No, I'm not. My wife jokes about it. Here, you get a little close-up view here of what that actually looks like since uh, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll take that uh, hose and we'll feed it along the wall here behind all these lemon trees and whatnot and then we'll bring it around here and connect up with the hose over there so we'll have our connector right here, which isn't the most convenient space in the way this is set up, but it should be okay. If I need to move it later, I can. So I'll make sure I leave enough slack to do that. But again, I got 75 foot of hose. It should be no problem whatsoever. Now that's pretty interesting. Normally the, uh, the bees won't come in here, so... They must be struggling in the wind, looking for a break too. But uh, I'm happy to have them come in here and pollinate. I wish they would, but they don't tend to like to be inside. Uh, so that is an interesting thing. Maybe I'll leave this door open and see if we can't get the bees to come in here and pollinate a little more. So, and you know, once one bee finds a pollen source and they go back and tell others, the others show up. So that'd be interesting. inside and as far as this cap goes what I think I'll do is I'll just um, interesting there's a little threaded thing in there maybe I could put a screw in that and just have this hang on the outside or something so it's always I won't lose it Down here, come behind this, and wow, 
voila. Pop it out over here. Look at that. Now, right now I have the water shut off at the house, so it's a little anti-dramatic. I can't turn the water on, but I'm, I'm excited to try it out. So, yeah, we just got that water line running along the baseboard there, the, the bed, along the back wall, and then ultimately out the hole. So I'm gonna actually tuck that in so that it drops down so it stays nice and tight. Let me get back in. I do recommend getting a high quality hose versus those cheap $10 ones if you can afford it. The other ones just kink up and absolutely terrible. So I'm excited to try this out. As soon as this wind dies down, there you have it. Voila, easy. Now I might go and shove something in there, like a rubber gasket. That's a project for another day. That little hole doesn't bug me at all, though. So, so here's what I'm thinking: is I'll go ahead and just take an old cup here and cut a slit and hopefully this doesn't just tear apart to a million pieces well, about the size of the hose here yeah doesn't have to be perfect And then just um, maybe feed it through like that. And that'll help seal that up. So let, let's see if it works. So until I get a rubber gasket or something that looks nicer, and it's 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 tight. Wow. See, like I said, look what you got laying around. Well, isn't this nice? Yay! Water on the back side of the greenhouse. Way to make sugar syrup. I'm excited, and we can go water the plants when we're done.